you feel like you got older all of a sudden? I'm Dr. Bob Eklarian from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery, and I'm going to talk to you about hyperparathyroidism. People who have hyperparathyroidism generally feel like they just got older quickly. They can't think so clearly, they have lost, their memory seems to be faulty, uh, they can't concentrate as much, they f feel irritable and anxious, they don't sleep well. Do you feel like these are some symptoms that you're suffering from? You could be having hyperparathyroidism. Hyperparathyroidism is caused by an abnormality in one or more parathyroid glands. What it does is that it causes an imbalance in your calcium system. So when you look at the parathyroids, the function is to produce PTH, which goes to the bones, as you see here, to leak calcium out of the bones when your calcium is low. They go to the kidneys and tell the kidneys to reabsorb calcium from the urine and they activate vitamin D, which goes to your intestines and increases the absorption of calcium in your intestines. And by doing that, it generally increases the calcium level. And then when your calcium level is high, the PTH, the parathyroid hormone decreases and your kidney is able to filter out the excess calcium. So there's a fine balance and there's always an up and down with the calcium and PTH and they react to each other. And you can see that in this in this relationship where the relationship between calcium and PTH follows an inverse curve. And this number here is called a calcium set point and each person has their own particular set point, right? So what happens when your calcium level is above, above your genetic set point? Well, as an example, I'll show you what happens in nerves. Normally when you have a signal going down a nerve fiber, Right? And here you can see going from nerve one to nerve two, as a signal comes down, calcium channels open up right here and calcium rushes in. And the amount of calcium that rushes in is dependent on the intensity of the signal coming down the fiber, right? So if your body expects your calcium to be 9.0 and the signal comes down of magnitude 90, let's say, then 10 calcium channels open up 90 calcium elements go in, 90 serotonins are released or dopamines or whatever neurotransmitter, they cross this gap and go to the nerve number two and a signal of magnitude 90 is transmitted across. But if by mistake, the calcium is now 11 instead of 9.0. When a signal of magnitude 90 comes down this nerve and 10 channels open up, instead of 90 elements going, 110 elements going. And the neurotransmitters that go across signal a message of 110. So your intention was 90, but the message that got across wasn't 90. So nerves start to function inaccurately, right? So does that cause achy bones or kidney stones? No, there's all sorts of other symptoms that arise, right? And the list of symptoms are right here. They're interesting because what we commonly think to be the symptoms of hyperparathyroidism, which is bone loss, achy bones, kidney stones, uh, are not the most common symptoms. The most common symptom at 96% is fatigue. Bone and joint pain is second, so achy bones, right? Muscle aches and pains, concentration issues, memory problems, irritability, sleep problems, nighttime urination, depression, frequent urination, polyuria, headaches, anxiety. Most, most parathyroid patients find that they're in a deep anxiety state. Free, uh, frequent thirst, um, upset stomach, dyspepsia, constipation, abdominal pain, some people have incontinence, and nausea and vomiting. So kidney stones is not on top of the list that happens. Bone ache is, but bone ache is non-specific. You know, we all, as we go through our days and we get engaged in activities, we're gonna have aches and pains, especially as we get older, right? We're gonna have achy joints, right? So it's sometimes hard to, hard to figure out what that means. Am I just getting older? Am I having arthritis? Or is that a disease? This is not specific enough to tell us, right? But if you're having fatigue, if you feel like all of a sudden in the past couple of years, your brain is not working as sharply as it used to, right? And you can, you can remember a change happening. All of a sudden you feel like you just got older faster. That's the most common complaint pe people have. 
I just got older all of a sudden. I feel like I can't think as clear as I used to. I used to be able to do this thing and that thing and my memory used to be great, but now my memory seems very much impaired and compromised. I can't remember things, words are stuck at the tip of my tongue and I, I can't finish sentences sometimes. I can't forget numbers now so much. I'm anxious, I'm constantly irritable and, and I used to be much calmer and now everything really gets to me and I get upset so easily. I think take things personally so easily. I'm so thirsty all the time. I drink all the time. I'm going to the bathroom all the time. And you know, and these symptoms are all related to the functionality of the nerves, the functionality of the muscles. So the, the fact that people go to the math bathroom more often is because the muscles are weaker so they don't squeeze the bladder fully. So there's always a little bit of urine left in the bladder. So half an hour later, they have to go to the bathroom again, an hour later. So they feel like they keep going to the bathroom all the time. And it's, where is all this water coming from? Well, they're just not emptying their bladder so well, right? Why am I, why am I so irritable? Well, that's because your memory is not so well and you're not thinking so clearly and you know you can get the task done, but it's not getting done the way you remember you could do it. And you, you, that adds to your frustration, anxiety, and then you become more irritable, right? All of these things are consequences of the malfunctioning calcium system. Your intestines are slowing down. They're not moving so well because your muscles are not moving so well. So people get constipated. The valves above your stomach that hold the acid inside the stomach are looser so the acid comes up. Elevated calcium irritates your stomach so you make more acid so you get upset stomach. Um, all of these things are consequences of an imbalance in the system and consequences of the calcium not passing along the message appropriately as it should. But, you know, having a 52-year-old guy who's a little bit fatigued, has some achy joints, has some memory issues and concentration issues, uh, nighttime urination, and some anxiety, headaches, I have three kids, so I have all these symptoms, right? Is, is, if I told my primary doctor that that's what I have, I, I guarantee you he's not gonna think my, I have hyperparathyroidism because the symptoms are non-specific. So, if you are having the symptoms, investigate, because this is a curable way of addressing it. This is a curable disease. Hyperparathyroidism can be cured. So if you're having all these symptoms from hyperparathyroidism, once you treat the hyperparathyroidism, once you identify the abnormal gland that's causing the imbalance in calcium and remove it, everything goes back to normal and you can have your old life back again. And that's really important because this is a curable illness whereas other causes of having these types of symptoms are not. And so it, it, it is important for you to understand this and to take an active role in addressing it. Now the other thing that comes along is, well, my calcium level is not high enough. My doctor says that that's, that's not the reason I'm having this. There's an elegant study done by a group called, here, Bargarin, Bargarin that they looked at the calcium level in the bloodstream and tried to correlate symptoms to calcium levels. So they said, if calcium level is more than one unit above normal, that's the gray lines, right? And, or if it's less than one unit, so the black lines, right? Black lines is less than one unit above normal, gray lines, more than one unit. Fatigue happened equally often regardless of calcium levels. Weakness happened slightly more in lower calcium Bone and joint pain happen more often in people who had lower calciums. Um, concentrations issues were the same, memory problems were the same, depression more common in people in lower calcium elevation. Anxiety the same, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting the same, heartburn the same. Constipation more common in people who have just slight elevations in calcium. Um, frequent urination, nighttime urination more common in lower calcium. The only thing that was more common in people who had much higher calcium levels was kidney stones. And the kidney stones is happening in roughly when people have slight elevation in calcium at about 10% and when they have a lot of elevation in calcium, less than 20%. So it's not a very common symptom at, at, at worst 20%, right? So the symptoms that are non-specific are most often the symptoms you, you will experience, and if you have them, definitely take action. 
if, if you have any further questions, contact me at parentthyroidmd.com. I'm always happy to help. If you like what you see, please like the video and subscribe. There'll be more hopefully helpful videos for you on the way.